talk to men over the internet. Uh, she said especially in order to get married, she wants to get married to a certain person. Uh, this type of talking chip is in chat rooms, internet chat rooms, um, where they have headphones and so forth, and they're chatting. And there's quite a lot of this going on. I mean, something which is a phenomenon nowadays. The common words which are coming out of men's mouth are very sincere, inshallah, azajal. And just because I love you for the sake of Allah, don't you ever do that. This is a satanic trap. Don't tell me that we do not speak about anything that's offensive or emotional or grab us. No. One time you go into this pit. This is a trap that's set to you by Satan. Even if you guys are getting married. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained to us, if you want to get married, what do you do? Number one, أنظر إليها فإنه أحرى أن يؤدم بينكما. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. So chat rooms is satanic. If you chat to a woman, you will marry, even if you are going to marry her. You know, she's your fiancé. This is satanic trap and you will go to hell, brother. Be careful. The prophet, he said, this is what he said. If you want to marry a woman, look at her. And you know, I was asking myself, like, look at her. What do you mean? How are you doing? <laughs> I... I don't know even if she is a male or a female. How, what is my guarantee? What do you mean look at her? In the top of that, what do you hear in TV, uh, 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 show, post it in YouTube? Uh, most of it, it's really a joke. Because this kid, he is not even 25 years old. He's an ignorant about his religion. He have no idea what he's talking about. And I will prove that very easy. Because in Islam, you, have, you can have sex with women before you marry them. A sex test drive you know if you, you want to buy a car you do a test drive this is what Islam teach this is Sahih al-Bukhari this is the hadith number 4725 from the book of the F word even the even the book it's called the F word imagine the Prophet he said and this is about the marriage of Muta. The chapter name, the Prophet when he forbid the marriage of Muta, but he himself he practiced the marriage of Muta. Simply Muhammad, he practiced, then he forbid, then he practiced, then he forbid. It's up how healthy he is. When he cannot have sex, he forbid it. When he can, he open it. If it was bad, why you forbid having Muta? Muta simply, by the way, guys, it is. You, you hire a woman uh, for sex, for sex drive. You know, you take her, like you say to her, I want to have sex with you for one night. Is that okay? Or for, for one hour. Then she asks you how much you will pay. Then you say five bucks. Then she say, I agree. Then this is called in Islam, muta'a marriage. Imagine how you can call this marriage even. Because it's halal, brother. It's halal. You are hot. She is horny. She want to make money. And you, you will enjoy yourself with her. You know, you do it according to Allah teaching. Wonderful religion, you see? And actually, the Prophet himself, he did not say to marry. This is not a marriage. The Prophet of Islam, he said, any man and woman, they decide to have sex between each other, ishra, which means this is share the bed, for three days, for three nights. If they like it, they can increase it. If not, they leave each other. Three nights, open sex and dry, free. And this guy is telling me, if you, uh, you know, if you sit with a Muslim woman in a chat room, this is forbidden. So you can screw her, forgive me for the language, but you cannot chat with her. Isn't it stupid religion? If you go in the internet, guys, you will see what Muslim women do all over the Middle East. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Okay, so we can look at her, but we cannot chat with her. Is that what do you mean? Uh huh. Mashallah, brother. Mashallah. So we can look, and she have to be covering her face. As you see, they are very good girls. Very good girls. You don't see the face. Mashallah, mashallah. But you know, look. If you like her, you know, look at her butt. Look at the. It doesn't matter. But if you like, but chat room is a problem. But just to show you that this guy is a liar because this hadith is very clear. I'm not going to say it. I will let the scholars of Islam, who they are, very famous. This is uh, uh, Sheikh 
uh, uh, Jindi. He is an Egyptian guy, very well known. And this is an Islamic sh uh, show from show TV from from Egypt. And the guy in the picture, and he, his name is Dr. Shahroor. He is the highest authority of Islam in Syria, Islamic country, approved by government. Let us hear the conversation, and you will see the translation down. So please follow with the conversation so we can see together what he is saying about this topic. Please be careful, read with me. Scholars of Islam, they love forcing. Whatever forcing is exist, this guy is just being honest. Whatever forcing is exist, it's a halal for them. Whatever forcing is exist, for them it is a principle according to Islam. Which means forcing, according to, to him, what he's saying, you know, forcing is talking about sex. Remember, they are talking about having a man and a woman having sex. So as long as you are forcing the women, the scholars, they say it's halal. If she agrees, it is not halal. What does that mean? It means you can force, and here they are talking about Malikat al yamin the women you own by your hand. And according to Malikat al yamin the woman you own in your hand, it's not only slaves. It's any woman she get paid from you, like prostitute, like anything. But mostly it goes for slavery. But in here we will see a different case. Let us hear together. <laughs> Please concentrate with, with with this. In Islam, slavery is a is a, is is something great. For them, the slavery women is taken to slavery by force, goes to slavery market by force, gets shown up uh, uh, by force, get uh, get bought by force. The buyer take her home and sleep with her by force, and the scholars believe that all of those five time forcing is halal. It's good. <laughs> and you know, you see the Muslims, they say to you, Islam is a great religion. Islam, you know, look what the, what, look what the white man did to the, with the black people. Do you know? Look at Islam, what teach. The white man, he did not do what God told him to do. According to Islam, this is all is great. Forcing women, look. They take her, they, they arrest her, they capture her, they sell her, they buy her, they show her, they expose her, they have sex with her, they rape her, and after five times of forcing the women, they say it's halal. What else, Mr. Shahroor? Let us see. <laughs> And if there is an agreement between a woman and a man for sex without marriage, they say this is forbidden. And he will say, this is false. Please go back in the video and you will see what he said. It's very important. If a Muslim man, a Muslim woman, they agreed for having sexual relationship without marriage. Without marriage. If she is not married, if she, if she is not married, as long as she is not married and she agreed to have sex with a man, it's halal. And he said, of course, of course, of course. Four times, he said, 
of course, of course, of course, the guy he's going crazy. Like, you know, for sure it's allowed. A Muslim man, he can have sex with, mar with women as long as she is not married and she is not his wife, no problem. As long as she agree, it's okay. So what this kid in the, in the, you know, the Muslims try to fool us always about Islam. Islam, you know, our, our women like jewelries, you know. Listen, this is all what you see, it's a bunch of lies. They can fool you because you don't know Islam, you don't speak Arabic, you are not from there. They cannot fool us. I will pause the link. Actually, I'm going to pause this video. I will pause this video right after the, 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 the video I made. So you can watch the whole uh, show in here. And you tell me what do you think. Christ is Lord. Islam is religion made by a dummy. For